18 years ago today, we as a nation promised to never forget. Today at Curlew Hills, we recommit to never forgetting what happened 18 years ago today. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And the The battle so many years later over 9-11 remains a vicious one, sadly, for so many people. More people died last year from toxic dust and complications from the rescue and recovery effort than all of those who died the day that those towers were struck and fell. The new number is 2,355. This is nearly double the number of the memorial that it was last year, and it's estimated that their number next year will far exceed the number of those who died on September 11th. Think about that. This is a battle that is still going on. So our memorial here recognizes the brave and courageous rescue and recovery workers who have succumbed to their illnesses as a result of working at that 9-11 site. It's a moving memorial, and I promise you, it's unlike anything else in the country, so we're blessed to have it here at Curlew Hills. God is such a reminder that freedom is never free. And so we're here today to say how grateful we are to be able to have life and live and love. But we're also so thankful for our opportunities and our responsibilities. And I'm in awe of how good and how great you are. And so I, th I just thank you for all these men and women who have served, who are serving, who are building this amazing community. And we thank you for our freedom and we remember. When I think of 9-11, I think about the tragedy that this nation had gone through. This act of terrorism meant an act on America and our way of life. It meant the death of many great people. It caused a loss of money, and the buildings fell, causing bad damage and more deaths. People are still getting sick from the garbage from the buildings. The government is giving money to their survivors and their families because of their bravery. 9-11 still impacts us today, but as proof that America is great and we can overcome even the biggest form of terrorism. The terrorists may have left us bleeding, but we are still breathing. Let that freedom ring forever true. We will never forget the tragedy of September 11th, 2001. God bless America. I was one of those that was in the World Trade Center on that terrible day. I remember on the morning the shutter of the building when the first plane crashed into the North Tower in the Marriott World Trade Center. I remember the fires on the ground where I could see. I remember the debris falling down. I remember the firemen arriving almost immediately. I remember the fear, the confusion, and the stampeding emotions of the day. I remember the feeling of doom as hundreds crowded the stairways and lobby trying to escape. As more people streamed in from the stairwells of the three buildings, firemen pushed us towards the south entrance. There we had the best chance of getting across the street without getting hit with debris and getting to what we thought might be safety. In the lobby, I began to see the side of 9-11 that I want to emphasize today. The character of ordinary Americans who, facing death, did not shy away from helping others. As a grateful nation, it's proper that we remember why we are here today. We are here for great and honorable purposes. First, to remember the loss of so many Americans. And second, to remember the heroism that Americans display. Yes, I was one of the fortunate ones. I escaped. I escaped the with the help of three brave firemen who didn't come back. They didn't return, but they were there for me. It's our duty to keep alive the sacrifice of those who died on September 11th. As long as we gather here in body and spirit, as long as we do not forget both the loss and the heroism, as long as we never give up when facing those who would take our lives in heroism, we will never give up our liberty and we'll never give up our values, and we'll never give up our way of life.